Hi, uh, Tim Sellers, Rex Walter for the Rex Reports. Um, this report is accompanying the Tim and his world uh, missive about the end of an era. I, I gotta tell you, I was shocked. I was shocked when I heard the news this week that Nelson Education, Nelson Canada as I knew it many years ago, was exiting the post-secondary um, textbook marketplace in Canada. Th this was just, um, as I said, as I said in, um, in my Tim and his world email, that's the equivalent of RBC saying, we're not gonna do commercial, we're not gonna be in commercial banking anymore, or, 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 or we're not gonna be in personal banking anymore, or uh, Davies, Ward, Phillips, and Weinberg saying, we're not gonna be doing mergers and acquisitions anymore. Like th this, this is the magnitude of, of this statement. Um, so I am sentimental about it, absolutely. And I just, I've, I've pulled some things from my archive just to, just to show, you know, uh, what, just to remember some of the stuff that happened at Nelson over the last 35, 36 years. I'm wearing, I'm wearing the pinstripes from the Nelson baseball jersey that, um, that I played on this team, or I played in this league, in this publisher's league, which is probably now gonna go the way of the dodo because of another company dropping out, but I played in this league for 35 years, and I was the president uh, for the last few until I left Pearson. Fortunately, it, the, the league didn't die under my watch. You know, I, 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 I snuck out before the league folded, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to carry on anymore. A couple of other things to show you. I referred to my a position selling vocational technical products across Canada with my buddy Wardo the War Child. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but this is an award I got in 1986 for outstanding sales performance. Uh, I was part of the Delmar group and we really totally rocked it. Um, and then in 2000, I, I'd become an executive editor and I was signing product, signing books and signing authors and dealing with them, working with various and sundry people like Mike Thompson and stuff like that. And, and uh, I got an award for Book of the Year. This was uh, The Essentials of Human Resource Management. Eileen Stewart ad adapted a Monica Belcourt book. So um, yeah, those are three things I've got hanging around that I wanted to bring out and to think about and show people because what can I say, I'm gobsmacked. Um, it, it's just, um, it is the end of an era, what can I say? Even though I will tell you this, as I said, uh, there may be some revisionist historians out there, but I suppose as, as DABB would say, Nelson's going back to its roots because when it started, when it started in Canada in 1914, uh, I think it was, it was mainly a school publisher, it really wasn't until they started representing Houghton Mifflin at some point um, that they got into sort of college sales. And as I said, when I started, it was a vest pocket operation. So yeah, you know what? Maybe they're going back to where they where they belong. Who knows? Anyways, um, sad week, sad day, strange times, COVID-19, unbelievable. Rex Walter for the Rex Report, signing off for now.